What is up YouTube we're back with another video and I mentioned this bike in my last video this is the third CT70 clone that I have and yes it is dressed up looking just like a real genuine Honda excuse the dirt and grime this bike is really dirty right now when it's clean it definitely looks better than the condition that it is right now but like I said we've ridden this bike we've grinded on this bike we've went off-roading on this bike we've did a lot of things on this bike a 70 cc engine this is a all stock bike i am not sure what brand this bike is guys mainly because only thing that it has on it is a serial number other than that serial number it doesn't have anything else on it the engine does say i'm not sure dino chang dino chang on it and it says it's a jing chang group china bike so like i said i don't know the brand of this i don't know who actually brought this into the states or even if this is a united states bikes at all but it's a 70 cc pretty much identical to the iceberg champions besides a couple things like the original honda 70s this has drum brakes in the front the iceberg champion actually has disc brakes in the front this bike i changed the handlebars from the back put the honda grom oem bars on also put on some nice little grips something i didn't do to my blue ice bear champion speedometer is all cracked and broke on this one so it doesn't work but it's showing that before it broke it had 649 kilometers on it so someone did get a lot of riding in on this bike before i did it originally didn't have the honda stickers it originally didn't have the knobby tires those are two things that i put on it oh enough talking about this bike hope you guys enjoyed my last video we're gonna get on this bike and pretty much just ride around, man. Show you guys how the 70cc roll starts every time, first kick. I haven't changed anything performance wise on it. Like I said, stock carburetor, stock exhaust, everything on it is stock and it is quiet as can be. Does not have a lot of power. I will admit that, guys. This bike has literally no power. With the lack of power, it actually still drives pretty fast. Like, you can get to 50 in no time. Not as fast as a 125 or even a 110, but you can get to 50, and it'll like cruise at that 50 at the top of the RPM for a long time. There we go, man. So, like I was saying, guys, I've taken this bike off-road a lot. Not sure why I chose this bike 
to go off road a lot with, but this is really my girlfriend's bike. I got it for her. But she hasn't been riding it at all, guys. So your boy my G has taken over it. Climbing these hills on this 70cc is nothing like climbing a hill on a 125, man. Tell you that right now. guys so I just literally looped the bike <laughs> in a stand-up wheelie and totally damaged the back of the CT as you guys can see there's no rear end on my CT but that is cool because I was removing that anyway all right let's get back on the trail so, what's the difference between this bike and my Iceberg Champion? One, this bike is older. Two, Iceberg Champion has disc brakes in the front. This has drum brakes. And I would honestly say suspension. Suspension on this bike, honestly, in my opinion, feels better. I know it's older. I got this bike used originally, so the suspension is really squishy and soft, but it actually feels good on this bike. Rear shocks definitely squishier than my C, uh, my Iceberg Champion. So we're riding this thing on gravel right now. Woo! Good God! Those branches are strong today. Little gravel slide. Yeah. I really dig off roading on these bikes, man. Really fun, guys. And come back out on the main road out of nowhere. My Ice Bear Champions all are capable of doing the same stuff. I just, I don't know why. I always choose to ride this bike through the off-roading. Because it's also a little refreshing with the smoothness of the throttle and everything. It doesn't have power to throw me all over the place or slip and slide a lot. Slow down on these turns with the gravel. This thing definitely slides, as you can see. Woo but yeah, me and my girlfriend is planning on a trip to St. Joe Park. It's a state park by my house. It's all off-roading. Dirt, though.
they're doing some like excavating and I don't really know what they're building back here, but they're building something back here. It's been abandoned for so long. It's like as soon as I find it as a riding location, they make plans with it. Which sucks for me, because sooner or later, this won't be a riding location. But until then, we're definitely riding it. Until they kick us off anyway. Now literally, this is the bike that I never planned to keep pretty or you know anything of that nature. Just ride it. Oh. Looks like today, man, there's guys actually behind that fence. Yeah, it's some type of mobile vehicle. Rides through this area. champion is definitely better than this bike so if this bike handles half the things that I'm putting it through right now I know the iceberg champion will be a champ literally a champ so we're gonna head back to some streets really quick because this bike really does move it moves really fast it doesn't have a speedo don't really know how fast I'm going so I just pick a nice little cruising speed and just cruise it it's so quiet I don't I don't know about any of you guys and I don't know if any of you guys have ridden this style of bike but it's literally man it's, it's, it's fun man it's a blast riding on these bikes there which makes it where I can't go down there but this is the type of stuff I like to do on my free time man explore the edges of town and go to places where people never been and just places where I'm like how do you get over there or what's over there I usually find these locations and right so we're gonna go back up the mountain and down it. Woo! I'm getting better at off-roading, man. Getting really better. I'm knowing when to lift off my seat and how to make it most comfortable to do things. Pegs get slippery. Let's see. Oh, I'm on a monster hill right now. And my bike is taking it. <laughs> the hill we're 
literally on the side of the highway, guys. <laughs> Those cars are probably like, what the hell is that guy doing? Oh my god. That was the sickest fucking ditch. Oh. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, handlebars literally moved on me, man. Uh, uh, oh my god. I'm gonna turn around, man. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Oh. Let's get up out of here, man. I hit that big hole. Literally a huge fucking hole in the ground, man. And I almost killed, oh my God. <laughs> almost killed myself. So let's get up out of here, man. <sighs> Slow down, cause last time I paid the price. Holes in the earth, man. Holes that you didn't, that you don't see. Oh my God. That shit is dangerous, guys. Ooh. That was insane, man. Time to get out of here now. Gotta keep the traction going in that dirt. Hit one more spot before I head back. And we'll take a look at the damage that I've caused on my little throwaway child of a bike I have. And I've only did this to this bike because it's red. <laughs> I don't like the color red. Out of this gated area over here, there is a section. Yes, there is. Right over there, it is. So, a lot of four wheelers around my house. They created this. I don't use it much, but it's like a little mini track. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I'm in that stand up wheelie and totally destroyed the back rear fender. Still have the tail light there, which I'm gonna definitely remove anyway. Gonna probably add my own little touches right there. But this is the bike, man, a 70cc CT70 clone. Don't know the brand, just know that it's old and it runs. And as you guys can see, it goes through and can take a lot. If you guys have liked what you've watched, please hit a like and subscribe, man, because we got way more content coming. I just wanted to show you guys this bike because I've spoke of it a bunch of times and you guys have never seen it. And the first time you guys see it, I kind of destroy it a little bit. But like I said, none of that really matters on this bike to me. I am going to be changing everything on it and it's going to be a whole different bike eventually sometime in the future. But until then, I'm going to continue to beat on it and ride it like I stole it, man. Thanks for watching. Peace.